When it comes to Boeing's narrow-body aircraft today, one mainly thinks of the popular 737 family. However, Boeing's historical single-aisle portfolio has featured other aircraft families, including the iconic 707, 727 and 757. While popular, this aircraft was in production for far shorter than the 737 family. So what explains its fall? Before we go any further, a crazy 79% of you have not yet subscribed. Please, do us a favour and subscribe now, it really means a lot. Arriving 20 years after the 727, the Boeing 757-200 entered service on January 1, 1983 with Eastern Airlines. The aircraft became a popular middle market workhorse worldwide operating routes where demand was high, but not enough to fill the larger 767. A greater range combined with ETOPS developments allowed the 757 to become one of the first jets to be used on long and skinny routes. In March 1999, the stretched 757-300 entered service. This variant's extra 7 meters above the Dash 200 allowed it to carry around 43 more passengers. However, the Dash 300 was limited to a rather niche market, as airlines wanting a larger aircraft could simply order the Twin Isle 767 without compromising on range. Just 55 Dash 300s were delivered. While Boeing was producing more than 100 757s every year in the early 1990s, sales of the jet were in decline a decade later. The early 2000s represented volatility in the airline industry. It suffered a significant downturn in the events of September 2001, with airlines reluctant to take the financial risk of operating the 757. After all, if they could not fill the aircraft, they were better off deploying even smaller planes, such as the Airbus A320 or Boeing 737. Amid declining customer interest and despite a renewed sales campaign, the final nail in the coffin for the 757 came in 2003. At this time, Continental Airlines swapped its 757-300 orders for the smaller 737-800. This caused Boeing to announce the end of 757 production. Boeing completed the final 757 in Renton, Washington in October 2004. Delivery to its customer, Shanghai Airlines, took place in November 2005. All in all, Boeing produced more than 1,000 757s between 1981 and 2004. Of all deliveries, the vast majority, 913 aircraft, were the standard Dash 200 version. Boeing also produced 80 Dash 200 freighters. Boeing also made a single Dash 200M Combi aircraft for Royal Nepal Airlines. Slowly but surely, the number of active 757s has fallen over the years, rendering the type increasingly rare. Some of the type's largest operators have already retired the type. British Airways did this around 2010, while American Airlines announced its plans to phase out its remaining 757s in March 2020. However, the sudden onset of the coronavirus crisis resulted in these aircraft all being placed into storage by the end of that month. Delta Airlines still has 127 757s with around 100 currently active. However, these aircraft are among Delta's oldest, with an average age of 23.7 years old. It's a shame that Boeing hasn't re-engined and updated the 757, especially considering the industry shift towards point-to-point -to -point travel and an increase in long and thin routes. This trend is perhaps best exemplified in the popularity of Airbus's upcoming A321 XLR, something that may be even more useful as the industry recovers from the global crisis. Have you had a chance to fly on the Boeing 757? And do you think Boeing should modernize it to become an A321 XLR competitor? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.